What are you trying to do with my content? This is just what life is about. I'm sure you've gotten a response from me on IG weeks after you responded. And to me, it's better than nothing, right? I think it's better than me not saying anything to you at all. And it's for two reasons. One, when I post, I can't sit around waiting for the responses. It's just too much and it it forces me to then, or it opens up the door of being hypercritical about my engagement. And really that's not a conducive way to create content if I'm constantly concerned about my engagement. So I post and I look away. I post and I just go about my business. There are different people saying that, you know, you gotta engage in that first hour after you post, then I'll be on, I'll be on IG all day, I can't do that. If my goal is to post three times a day, then I have a lot of posts to respond to days after. And if I'm focused on creating content and being a one woman show, then I can't get to my posts days after <laughs> afterward, unless I'm just on my phone and I see the pop-ups and I respond, I, I click right there. Mm -mm. So right now I'm going back and I always know where I left off. And right now I'm going back and I'm, I'm two weeks out. I'm responding to comments two weeks out, but to me, it's better late than never, you know? I want you to comment below. <laughs> And I'll see it when I see it. And let me know what your thoughts are on that. Would you prefer a late comment, like a, a comment a week or so later? Or like, are you okay getting nothing? Because I know for me, when I comment on people's pages and they have a lot of followers, I don't then expect a response. But if I were to get a heart weeks later and I notice it, to me, it's like, oh, cool. Okay, she saw me, right? Versus let's say I'm following someone and I keep on commenting and I've never gotten at least a heart. It's like, do you even see me following you? you know? So that's my thought on it. So I'm responding to this post from ages ago. And for the most part, I'm given hearts. It's just easier when I have hundreds of comments to go through. But then if I see something that like that, that stands out to me, usually it's like something funny or clever or whatever, or a question, I'll respond directly. Like if it's a question or like if I see a theme of a certain topic, or even it's just gonna be one person asking, I will write it down and make a note to make a video about it another time, so. And you'll see that sometimes I, what size? Yeah, I'm wearing large. Am I wearing a large enough? Or I'm wearing XL? Oh, shoot. You know what, I'm not fooling with you. <laughs> Same breath, I say, let's just let's just go on to this Amazon storefront and add to my cart, laugh out loud. See, like, I'm like that. It's funny, so I wrote her an actual response because it stood out to me and it made me wanna say something, right? But in order to get it all done, because it's a lot, I'm, I'm giving hearts and I think a heart is good. I have the same top, so chic, cute, comfy. The three C's I want in my clothes. Yes, girl. <laughs> we all wanna be chic, cute, and comfy. Okay. Oh, and I'm burning love letter already. Love letters. <laughs> We're burning her right now. She's burning. I need to get away. Yes, come on. You gotta get one. It's good to just, it's good to end a change. It's good to have options, girl. Yes. Uh, hello. Like, what? yo, is she? Oh, redefine. You don't be treating, you, you, you don't be doing right. You don't be doing right. You need to treat, look at me. You need to treat your units better. Then they'll treat you better. <laughs> I can't even stand it. Redefine. Talking about you treat yours much better than I do. Girl, you need to treat your wigs better, girl. They'll, they'll behave for you when you want them to behave. No need to tell you where I keep my treasures. I need to buy some hangers. <laughs> yes, hang your wigs on a hanger, okay? Please. To the satin bag, under the bed. Not under the bed. No, under the bag with the boogie monsters. <laughs> sick about it. I'm sick about it. Why you got your wigs under the, under the bed with the with the boogie monsters? I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. Sick about it. Why you doing that? Yo, the comments sometimes are making me laugh. I put them behind my door on a hook. Oop, not not like a, not like a robe in my wardrobe. They will come out like afros. Bless the Lord. <laughs> That's why you gotta have a wardrobe just for the wigs. <laughs> I'm so done. Uh, yo, this is so funny. Yo, man, this, you guys are funny. This is a good wig. I'm about to order another one. I'm wearing her my profile pic. Well, come on. We need to have a few options. <laughs>
<laughs> in case you ever wonder what how it is when I respond to comments, this is how it is sometimes when it's funny. When, when y'all say funny stuff, I love it. It just tickles me so much. Okay, this is such a good idea. I'm gonna give it a shine. Yes, drawer. Yes, the drawer. <laughs> drawer. Drawer. <laughs> Yes, I put my on mannequin heads. They be falling down. They be tipping over. I can't stand it. They be tipping over. I already graduated from that. Amazon sells wig hangers. Oh, really? Oop, I didn't know that. Oh, I think I have seen it. And once I go like, they cup, they cup, don't they? Whatever. Wig heads take too much space. I just started wearing wigs and got heads from Amazon. We'll be purchasing more. Uh-huh. I saw mine in a satin bag to keep them moisture. Okay. Moisture rich wigs. I love the link to your exact lashes in this pic. Okay. It's an FAQ highlight. Hello. <laughs> That's where it lives <laughs> on the weekend. And mine lives in the Ziploc bag. Not the Ziploc bags. <laughs> I never thought about Ziploc bags. I'm so annoyed. That was good. Yo, good morning. It is Monday. Yesterday, I just needed a break and a rest. Not only that, I said that I was going to edit my vlog every day and I missed several days. So Sunday morning, I was editing from about 5 a.m., 6 a.m. until it uploaded at about 6 p.m. Okay, I was doing something to the vlog the whole entire time. So that something is editing it, rendering it, doing the caption, the long caption that you see at the bottom of these vlogs that have all the links that you might ask me for. I create them, I put the caption together to make things easy for you to find. And uh, it just all took so long. And then I just keep forgetting that the render, so the uploading from my desktop to YouTube takes two hours. Why is it taking two hours? Any of you vlog, any of you, oh, a 30 minute video takes two hours to upload. I don't understand that. What I wanna do instead is upload it from Final Cut directly to YouTube. But then it takes away the whole, all my saved information in my caption, but I can just cut and paste. I'm gonna try that instead because rendering it to my desktop and then from the desktop to the computer is just taking too long. Two hours is too long. That's that's ridiculous. So there's that. Took me to school. Praise the Lord, he's in school. Mama's got her coffee going on right now. Lit my candle. Sweet spot for mood is really growing on me. It really is growing on me. Now that I've burned it for so long, it really is growing on me. At first sniff, it wasn't my zhuzh. I can't see myself buying it again, that particular scent, but as I'm burning it, it's growing on me. It's wearing me down. Like a man at a club trying to get your phone number, it's wearing me down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right, now I need to edit something for a brand. I need to edit that right now. If you create content, then you may come across a time where you don't have enough storage on your computer or your laptop in order to hold your information. I recently purchased this one from Amazon and this one holds one terabyte and I just hooked this up for my camera. So the good thing about this is that it's small, which I love and I can always just take it out and be able to find it in my bag easily. <clears throat> so this is how I expand my storage on my laptop. But on my computer, I have, I have a lot of storage hooked up that's complicated but on my laptop when I'm moving about at home what have you the computer itself doesn't have enough storage to do my editing on my Final Cut Pro so I have my Final Cut Pro folder and all of the content stored in one of these so I'm actually gonna need to switch over to this one it's one terabyte terabyte is way bigger than all the gigabytes yo so let me, let me pause this I'm, listening. I'm watching Ashley Devana's vlog I'm, I'm responding to your messages your messages like literally you your comments on my vlog from last week and i'm like about to cry like what oh my god okay so ah, i'm just so grateful so you can do it i love it you know i like to encourage other people like you to do what you want to do you gotta put you gotta put effort and energy into your craft and your business but <laughs> thanks so much but you totally can do it you know like right now i'm tired listen i i did not want to get up today and mind you i was in bed yesterday at eight o'clock it was kind of like just laying a little bit but i actually went to sleep sleep around nine i was tired i worked all day and today this morning to my husband i haven't had a day off in over a week over a week on my calendar, I've set aside Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's an ambitious goal, but I've set aside three days to say that those are my days off. Girl, please. Mm -mm. I had so much to do on Friday, and then Saturday came around, I had stuff to do, and then Sunday came around, I had to edit the vlog. I was like, what? So I have not had a day off, and today I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna relax because after the, later on in the afternoon, I gotta bring me to soccer practice, and then we get home and all this and all that. 
but ask me what I've been doing since I got up. Oh, like I said, I have something I, do, I need to do. I need to edit today. It's a must, it's a campaign, right? Then I have so many ideas of things that I wanna create. I've created this, this like thing on my own of just organizing myself with my content i've updated my editorial calendar for this week and next week i need to print it thank god i have a printer yo like having a printer makes me feel like a big like a, like a big person like a, like a grown-up <laughs> i'm a grown-up okay but i'm just saying like having a printer is like oh okay we printing now okay we in we in the big leagues okay so i need to print that out sundays are usually my day to plan my week but <laughs> I was editing, so uh, I didn't do that. So it's like, what? I have so much, you know, and oh. Praise the Lord, listen. Doing what I do is so rewarding. It's so rewarding, but it doesn't go without a lot of, like a lot of sacrifice. Anyway, all this to say, I'm very grateful. I love everything about this video. I almost cried when you started to cry. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, thanks so much. Oh my goodness. Good morning, man. Awesome video. Have a super week. I'm just so grateful for such a nice community, you know, that I don't have to come out here and and be angry or hurt, right? Because it's hurt that's behind the anger if I were to like have to argue with someone online. It's hurt that's behind that. Let's just be honest. It hurt, right? So I'm just so grateful that I don't have to come out here and be angry because then what'll end up happening is that then we don't even want to answer our comments. If people start tearing us down in comments, you don't even want to answer it. You just leave it there. And then it could be some really great, nice, sweet, supporting comments that, that just get missed because you're like, I'm not even going to look at the comments because it's just going to be a mess, you know? So I'm just grateful. I actually shed a tear. Oh. <laughs> Let me listen to let me let me listen to what Ashley talking about, and then let me answer y'all in the comments. Doing good for you. What you saying, Ashley? Tell us, as told by Ashley. Y'all need to watch her, Ashley Devana. Oh, I deleted it. Oh, I responded. I deleted it. I hate that. Stana. One time, one time. Lego. Lego. Passing the prime. Girls, them I come, them I feel alive. One by one, them I step in on me yard, them I enter, them be two by two. Oh, oh we yeah. go low. Man, I tell them, man, I tell them. I showed you these. This was in my PR. What last week? There's two of them, and these smell so good from Pacifica. First of all, Pacifica, thank you for sending these to me. I have one right at my desk in one of the bathroom. I literally just spray them on all day. And Neem knows me. Neem be like, "Mommy, you like fragrance?" I'm like, "I do, baby." He'll be like, "You smell good." I mean, ah, it's just amazing. So, yo, like the fragrance upon fragrance is fragrancing itself around here in these streets. Okay. <laughs> So I'm responding to emails and I wanna give this small, well, I wanna give a few tips for small brands, okay? There are things that I as a content creator or we as content creators need to know in, in order to provide a response to a business, be it a small business or a large corporation. First things first is what do you need from me? What are the deliverables you're looking for? So I'm finding that a lot of new creators or new businesses, excuse me, don't understand the, the language that I'm using. And if, you're, if you've been doing research in the business, then you know what I'm referring to. But a lot of times the small business folks don't know. So I wanna just share. I'll ask about what deliverable are you looking for? Deliverables are content. Content is what exactly do you want? Do you want five high res 4K images to use? Do you want a video? Do you want a, a video integration? Are you wanting a reel? Are you wanting IG stories? Are you wanting any combination of those things? If you reach out to an influencer and you're asking for their rates, they, if they know what they're doing, would need to know all of that information before giving you a rate. In addition to the deliverables, the content creator needs to know what the licensing is. Is whenever I ask licensing, you don't know what I'm saying, okay? So licensing means what kind of license do you want over the content that I give you or that I create? What are you looking to do with the content? Are you look so licensing and usage are one and the same as far as I know it. So are you looking to use the content in email blasts, newsletters? Are you looking to use the content on social media to create advertisements? Are you looking to use the content organically just to repost on your social media? Are you looking to use the content on billboards all over the world? Are you looking to use the content on your website? Are you looking to use the content in printout form in your boxes when you're sending out product? What are you trying to do with my content? 
I have to know that because depending on what you're trying to do my content, that's going to give you the rate. And the more you want to do and the more you want to put it all over the world, the more the content costs. If you're trying to repost it onto social, there might be a lesser fee, but regardless, there's a fee. Gone are the days for me where I work for free. I used to work for free when I was first starting out, but we can't take gifting to the bank. You see what I'm saying? I can't take gifting to Walmart to get my groceries. I can't take gifting, you know, to Reliant, you know, to pay my electricity bill. Do you understand? So I love gifting. I love to give gifts. When I have extra or dupes or what have you, I have a drawer. Actually, I have a lot. I need to be, I need to, I need to start giving out again. Last time I did a gifting girl, I was, I paid 150 for, for like 17 different boxes. I was like, well, bless God. I digress. Going on the days where I barter. I'm grateful for all of the brands that I work with. I mentioned this in my last vlog. It is always going to be the truth for me, but for where I am in my career, gone are the days where I do a barter. Deliverables, we mentioned licensing. The other key component is exclusivity. Usually y'all have no idea what I'm referring to when I ask about exclusivity. And I usually put this in one email because content creators get a lot of emails. So it's really helpful to be really concise in your first email. You know, you intro yourself, what you're, what you're trying to do. You you know what the licensing is the uh, ex exclusivity is the deliverables are and the budget you gotta pay okay we're working you know i don't just take pictures on my iphone and upload those days are over you know i use 4k quality technology to create my content so you gotta also include the budget praise the lord i've worked with a small brand before years ago where i did a video that was an integrated video. So I was to put, I was to use their product in a makeup video on IGTV. They probably had good intentions, but I was, they were, it was uh. after a while I was like, this was a bad idea. Cause there's some times where it's like, you do a campaign, you're like, this was a bad idea. I should have just said no from the beginning. Did the video integration. They took the video, you know, you can download a video from online. They downloaded the video, cropped out everything except the time, the spot where I used their product. They use that now newly re, regenerated video and we're putting it on their web on their uh ig by itself which is a problem because we did not agree to that now i understand that you may not want to repost a video with other brands in it but i've seen brands do that it's like you gonna just repost the video because at one point i'm using your product you don't have to repost it at all anyway all of a sudden i get a newsletter and i'm like excuse me that's my picture you took a screen grab from the video and used it on your newsletter to promote one of your products. That was not what we discussed. That is a violation of what we discussed. That is unprofessional and I do not stand for that. In some way I understand that as a new business owner, brand owner, beauty brand, perhaps she wasn't aware, but again, there were some other things that make me feel like she knew what she was doing. Needless to say, it doesn't matter. That was many years ago and I've lived and I've learned to make sure that there's one, a contract, to make sure that in our discussion before the contract comes to, over to my side, we're clear on what the deliverables are, what the licensing is, what the budget is, what's your money looking like? You understand? Because it's cute, you know, sis, girlfriend, we from the same country, we from the same what have you. But with all due respect, I can't take cute to pay my car note. You understand? So we're going to have to discuss budget. And I do understand that with small brands, they don't have the same budget that bigger brands do. I get that. To me, if you don't have a marketing budget, then what kind of business are you? I wouldn't be an LLC, a business, if I didn't have technology to create the content that I create. It's like being a business and not having a business account. You're not a business if you don't have a marketing budget. I wouldn't be a business if I didn't have a budget to purchase things. I have to use my money to purchase clothes to wear in my vlogs, to wear when I go on my photo shoots. I have to be, you know, as a business, I have to have money to pay to upgrade my technology, to buy different products. All the makeup products that come out and stuff, yes, I get PR, but I don't get every single PR from every single brand. So I have to use my money to purchase these things. I'm speaking for myself and perhaps for other content creators who will who, who want to agree you don't have to it's fine i need you to be putting some money behind your ask just saying that you're a small black owned business and all of this and all of that and you're wondering if you can get my honest review on your products there's no honest review unless you're paying me it's, that's a fact one thing if i organically am using the product and i share it which i do oftentimes if you've asked me for something specific then you have to have specific money you have to have money you gotta have money.
That's just my little tidbit. Some of y'all might not like that, but you know what? That's fine. Content creators will definitely understand. I'm also a small black owned brand. So from one black owned brand to the other, with all due respect, there's gotta be money. Otherwise you're looking at a barter and I don't barter anymore. Nope. All right, update on my body cavitation. Okay, today is Monday, so we are at day four. Apparently between days three and six is where you see the most progress. Now, when I take the pictures that you've seen, I'm supposed to let my stomach hang out, which I never do. If you're like me, you always contract your abs. It's just a thing. So you get to see the true stomach when the abs are not contracted. I do have extra skin. I gained 50, 50 pounds while pregnant five years ago. FYI, okay, so here we go. All right, I'm talking, so because I'm talking, I'm contracting my abs, so let me me stop talking and let it go loose now if I were to really contract my abs this is what it looks like this is just talking and this is really like contracting the abs so you can see that there is a little bit of ab definition but I do have loose skin from having a baby and just in general but you know this is just what life is about I do see that this is working because this is looser just hanging the hanging is not the best thing in the world okay but when your stomach is out to here with the baby you're gonna get the hanging skin I know that some people have a lot more like in the middle contracted you know, skin hanging going on. So I'm grateful that this is what I have. Okay, so this is me fully contracting my abs. Like you can feel my abs in there, but of course you have a lot of fat and skin just here. Now I know with my stomach going down, that's going to mean more hanging skin, but I will take hanging skin in my case over looking like I'm pregnant. My stomach has gone down by comparison. I'm likely going to do it, not likely, I am going to do it one more time at least. It works. My stomach is not nearly as big of a bulge as it used to be, not as much as it was. I know that my stomach does not look as bad as it could, you know, and I also recognize that as moms, our tummies do take a beating, our bodies do take a beating, but it's for such a great reason. Do you understand? Do you understand how fulfilling it is to be able to give birth, to be able to have a human being with a brain, bones, organs develop in your body and then give life to it. So I know that there are tons of women who are yearning for that ability, my chest itches. And then there are those of us who God has given the ability to do so. So I am just so grateful to have been able to do that. I gave birth to a child, a human being. So, you know, if we got a little bit of fold over, we got a little bit of fold over and that is what it is. I used to be so self-conscious. That has done the work. This is what you got. Work what you got. This is what it is right now. It's Tuesday, good morning. Look at the sun shining through. All right, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not already, you need to really be doing that. I did a giveaway with Dollar General Days of Beauty. First of all, we're having a conference in March. You'll hear more about it, but if you saw, you saw, and if you know, you know. So this is the box. Look how heavy this box is. If you registered to get the box, you should be getting it soon. But I haven't opened up the box yet to actually go through it. I have taken out the dial body soap that was in here, and then I took out the got to be glue because I needed to use it. Other than that, I have not taken things out. So I wanted to just unbox it with you and show you what's inside and then start using some of the stuff. I didn't want to use it yet because it's like so cute. I wanted to show you anyway. So here is a razor. Can't go wrong with that. All right, we got, I've never used this from Pantene. Have you ever used Pantene products? Hydrating buttercream. What is this? For natural transitioning and relaxed hair. Okay, sulfate free for everybody. Argan oil. Oh, so it's just a cream. You put it on, it gives you 72 hour Mm, I'm all about hydration. Okay, I'm gonna start using this this week. Okay, we have head and shoulders, smooth scalp. What? Instant soothe scalp elixir, some oils. I love hair stuff, come on. Let me put the hair stuff separately. Here we go. These are all from Dollar General, mind you, okay? Curling cream, root to end. I've heard of this, but I've never used it. Curl defining cream. Aunt Jackie's curl la la, curl custard. What? Defining curl custard, never used this. I bought one Aunt Jackie's product a while ago, and it didn't work for me and that was when I first began being natural I didn't know what I was doing so it could have been me I don't know Kansu coconut curling cream you know I only use gel to curl my hair I'm going to try to try these things these other non-gel products and see what that means um, I need to figure this out okay 
more hair products love that Ooh, you know i love a good sample when i used to go to the beauty supply like i have samples what samples do you have <laughs> i'll take some <laughs> so we got some sample packs okay palmer's olive oil and what oh this is this is thick butter rich deep treatment i'm right now i'm doing a deep treatment so I'll be using these for sure. You know I nourish my hair. That's that's what I live by. I don't use the lock method. I just deep condition and sometimes do treatments. Ooh, this is good for the hand, uh, for my hands. This is good for my purse. Love that for me. I'm gonna put this aside and put this in my purse. I don't like my hands being dry, all this hand washing. Okay, we got some press on nails. No glue needed. Hmm, interesting. This reminds me of the magic press that I did the other day. Interesting, interesting. All right. Oh, LA Colors got a nice shadow palette. Let me find out. Let me find out, Dollar General Beauty. Hello. Hi. And I do believe that if you did sign up for the box, you're going to get the same things. I do think. Ooh, Dove Amplified Textures. I have not seen this. Leave-in conditioner. Ooh, I love that. I love that. I bet it smells really good. Oh, I love. I love. Okay, there are a lot of hair products in here. <laughs> Curl enhancing smoothie. You know what? I remember when this was in a, a jar and I tried it. It wasn't given what I thought it was supposed to give. I was still new at being natural, so I really didn't know what I was doing either. But I'm going to try this out too for my curly styles. I don't know. We're going to see. LA Colors. I've never used an LA Colors mm, mascara. I've never used that. So if it works like this, I'm into it. I need to see what's going on, you know? Ooh, suave. <laughs> Suavemente. Natural Shea Butter Pure Coconut Oil Cleansing Shampoo. Mm, it's a purifying shampoo, so this is not going to really hydrate, I don't think, at least. But I'm going to find out. Gently cleanses. Okay, so if it's gentle, then it shouldn't strip. We'll see. We're going to see what she's talking about. Okay. Ooh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I love it. The accent was wrong. I know it. Mm -hmm. Africa's Best Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Love that. You know I'm going to be putting this on my edges because I don't grease my hair itself. Edges, the tips maybe. Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Oh, we got some nail polish. Okay, these colors are not for me, but that's fine. It might be for you when you get them. I don't do dark colors. I don't even do dark lippies. That's just me. But yeah. Okay, we have some lashes. I don't wear these lashes. This would be too natural and not wide enough for me. My eyelash lid, whatever you call it, is more wide than this. So this wouldn't fit me. But if you get this box, it might work for you. And some deodorant, girl, you can't ever go wrong. I like how small this is. This is gonna go right in my bag because sometimes, you know, you need to just do a little touch up on the go. Oh my goodness. So I saw a sneak peek of this on Trend Mood and I was like, I want that. And I literally was gonna go look at it and buy it, but Sephora sent it to me. I am so done. Wow. <laughs> This is beautiful. Like I still have Coach sneakers from the 2000s. <gasps> this is an eyeshadow palette. This is Francais Stranger. How interesting is this? Okay, so you turn it to the side and then, ooh. Okay, we have some darker, deeper colors. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Like it's good quality. Ooh, what is this? Blush and bronzer. Mm -hmm. You got a pink polish, top coat, and nail sticker. You put the stickers on the nail. Just so cute. These brushes are very soft, so I would use it for powder, not foundation. Well, yeah, I like a I like I like a more sturdy brush for foundation. So for powder. For powder, for powder, obviously eyeshadow. This is like very funky. Oh my gosh, I need to get gas. <laughs> Leave it up to me to be the one driving with no gas. Like why? Now I'm headed to a photo shoot and let me tell you, when I'm on my game and I'm on my grind and I'm on my ish, I really should have my outfits for my photo shoot already, already planned out, already together, but that hasn't happened. <laughs> and I didn't want to cancel the photo shoot because I don't like doing that. It's just not right and this is time 
time that somebody else could have had, not to mention I do need to shoot. So thank God, because I have stuff that I already purchased, I found things to wear. It wasn't my plan to wear it, but we gonna do it. Like it's it's gonna come together. You understand what I'm saying? If I had somebody with me, I'd be able to give you BTS for the photo shoot, but I don't. And if I do too much, they're gonna slow me down. So I'm not gonna be able to show you a lot for the photo shoot, but I did wanna take you along to just talk you through the whole thing in case you're a content creator or in case you're just interested, okay? So I have my stuff on hangers hung behind me. I pushed the passenger seat all the way up and I bring the, the back all the way forward because I change in the back seat. Speaking of that, I need to find a, t a window tinter. Our windows are tinted, but I need it to be limo. I need limo tint because it's sunny out here and you can see if you're like too close to me. Granted, whenever I'm changing, I park, I don't park next to where people are. So when I'm changing, it's really fast. So, you know, you ain't gonna really see what's going on besides I'm in the back seat. And the back seat is typically, the back seat windows are typically darker than the front. So it's already tinted, but it's not tinted. Uh, excuse me because you went too forward don't cut don't don't try to push back you're gonna push back and hit me i'm not doing that today i got somewhere to be the window tint is not how i need it to be so i definitely do want to get that tinted darker that's on my to-do list i have a lot of things on my to-do list okay praise the lord i try to put my miscellaneous things in a laundry basket because i saw another influencer do something she had some kind of basket a bag or something and i was like that's clutch because you just need different things like be it your bag be it your shoes be it your scars if it's if it's hot if it's cold outside whatever other things that you have you just need them and I used to just have them on the chair or like have them in the trunk and it's just so messy that way I can't live like that so I literally put a laundry basket a wide one and I just have all my extra extra stuff in there I have blotting powder you know like hand towel in case I like touch my face I need to clean my hand I can wipe my makeup off my hand things like that I've got body oil look at there's a deer and, and sunglasses in case I decide to wear sunglasses it is sunny outside today I thank the Lord it's 65 degrees I do need gas but this gonna take me it's gonna take me I'm gonna make it <laughs> oh, I knew I needed gas yesterday but I didn't go get it so here we are but changing the car that's just what it is no one has time to go into a restaurant or go into another establishment and change their clothes how you gonna do that you don't have time for all that carrying stuff back to and fro it ain't gonna work out so the car is where it all goes down but usually where we go is not very busy anyway so it is a weekday so that's actually a good thing yeah so I shoot normally every two weeks but sometimes i will add another one if i can if my photographer is open if i have a campaign that is urgent or you know sudden or whatever close by i don't need once a week right now my content isn't just fashion photos my content consists and you know this consists of youtube videos it's a whole different platform it consists of igtv videos i do that on my own reels i do that on my own my makeup headshots that i take i do that on my own so if i was so i don't need to, to, to shoot every week but if I didn't have all those other things and I was just doing fashion content, then I would need to shoot often. But I know that there are influencers who don't even use a photographer. They shoot their own stuff and you know, hey, if it works, it works. Wonderful. I just love the quality that I get from using a photographer. Only that, I love that she knows what she's doing and she and I have worked together for over a year now. So she knows what I like and I'll tell her like, oh, can you, you know, go this way, go that way, or whatever. I don't know the terminology, but I know what she knows she know what I mean when I say it. So she know what I like and it's quick, you know, and y'all feeling I'm gonna be having to instruct somebody and all this. It's just too much. So it's one hour and we, we just go boom, boom, boom. And normally I do four looks, but I got five this time because last time we shot, I was moving fast because I'm getting faster. So I'm gonna go for five. I know that there are some people who go do more than that I, I don't it's too much it's too much like last time I literally when I left had a headache because it was so quick which is fine I'm, I'm prepared for it I did it because I wanted to put in a lot of looks it was so fast and you need energy to do this stuff you need energy to take pictures you know you want to be smiling walking do this again do it again do it again it's a lot of energy you would think like you just go stand there no you need energy to do this hey girl comma what's the address again question mark my jam all I need is your love and affection Hey, come on. 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 Hey, Yo, the way I'm rocking out right now, you would not, you would not know that I have 30 miles left of gas in the car. Can you imagine? 
<laughs> no gas. But here she go. Get up. <laughs> hey. Nalinga, Nalinga. All out the edit like Tinga. Ding dong, come we show them fi do the Nalinga. Not nerving away. Ask it's me. Just give me the line. Hey, hey, hey. Best time eroding after hey. 1093. Hey. Come on. Hey. 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 The old and the via God of Jesus. I mean, like, oh, these are all throwback jams from when I used to be up in the club, okay? And listening to it is nostalgic, but I can listen to it and know that I've been saved and delivered. But it's so fun to listen because it's like, yo, I'm <laughs> yeah, you be by your be man, yeah. Hmm. It's really something serious. God is good, man. But I can still rock out though. Come on, where we at? Where we at? Huh? Twang! I like to blast my music, but I'm about to go to a fancy area. And I don't want to seem ghetto with my music blasting. Oh, so I only have a few more minutes at a blast. So I got a blast. Let's go. Oh, click me finger. Come on. Yo. I'm here now and so you know we've got you know we've got Etro, you know we've got Mars so can okay, we got Le Colon I can't even get my tongue to do what it has to do in order to say it with the French accent you understand so turn the music off because we can't be doing that we can't be you know we, we ghetto you know what I'm saying we, we low ratchet but we don't want to we don't want that to always be. I should let her go. That is so ghetto. Oh. We got Cartier. You feel what I'm saying? We got Dior. You know what I'm saying? We can't be out here busting. Click my finger. Get on the road with me. Yeah. And then when I roll with me. We can't be doing that. <laughs> Stand up. 